tonight at 9, a seditious conspiracy. Today, the Department of Justice unsealing the federal grand jury indictment against the leader of the far-right Oath Keepers. And 10 other people in that group, including a Phoenix man, is linked to the crimes for the breach of the U.S. Capitol back on January 6th. That Phoenix man is 63-year-old Edward Vallejo, arrested this morning. Fox 10's Justin Lum is live with what the FBI is saying about him. John Christina, the founder and leader of the Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, along with Edward Vallejo, a member of the group, both arrested today for the first time. The indictment says the Oath Keepers began to plot the disruption of the electoral process that took place on January 6th last year, right after the presidential election in November. Seditious conspiracy is defined by law as an attempt to overthrow, put down, or destroy by force the government of the United States. A newly unsealed grand jury indictment in the District of Columbia accuses the far-right militia group known as the Oath Keepers of that very crime. Today, FBI agents arrested the alleged leader, Stuart Rhodes, in Texas. 63-year-old Edward Vallejo of Phoenix also arrested this morning, and nine other people previously charged in connection to the U.S. Capitol riot now face additional counts for seditious conspiracy and other offenses. People Former Assistant FBI Director Chris Wecker on the unprecedented indictment. I think it's extremely serious. Uh, not many people in the history of this country have ever been charged with sedition. The maximum sentence for seditious conspiracy is 20 years. Court documents say a week before the insurrection, the defendants plan to bring guns, knives, camouflage, and other military gear to the Capitol. The Phoenix resident, a part of what the FBI said, was a quick reaction force team to transport weapons. That indicates military-type planning, mil military-type tactics. Investigators say the Oath Keepers focus on recruiting current and former military, law enforcement, and first responder personnel. After the attack on the Capitol, documents show Rhodes, Vallejo, and another Oath Keeper celebrated and discussed next steps. According to court documents, Vallejo messaged other members saying they would be back at 6 a.m. to do it again. Quote, we have only begun to fight. Last week, Attorney General Merrick Garland said the overall investigation is still underway. The actions we have taken thus far will not be our last. Since last January 6th, more than 725 people have been arrested in nearly all 50 states for crimes related to the Capitol riot. In the studio, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Justin.